Hi everyone, this is Terry, and this is Lesson 2 of Shapes. Please go back and watch Lesson 1, which is the introduction of shapes that was recorded earlier this week. As you see on the screen, you see a heart, and this heart was created with the shapes. If we go to Home and choose Shapes, I selected this heart, and all I did was draw a heart. And then for that heart, I selected a spiral stitch. Now you have to adjust it based on the shape of the heart. And I created an offset line. I won't go back through all of the steps to do that in this video, but just know that you can do it very quickly. I used a chain stitch on the outside of it, and then I went to create offset and created an offset uh, line using a motif and the motif was a heart stitch. So you can see how quickly you can create something that's unique. Let me clear my screen. And if you recall, to select shapes, you select the shape icon from your menu bar. You'll find digitizing tools under this menu, so it may be a little bit confusing because you do have shapes, such as the heart that we just used, but you also have digitizing tools that you typically see in other software programs. We'll start out with some of the closed shapes and show you how to use that. Some of them are called outline shapes. And the others are in the shape of a rectangle or a circle. We'll start out with the outline first and we'll look at the closed straight line. With this shape, you click once and you notice that you have a line attached to your mouse. You click a second time and that creates a node. Click again and again and again and one more time and then double click when you're ready to end or close the shape. Now let's choose a, a different fill stitch and then we'll also choose a different outline stitch so that you can see what this shape would look like. Now with any kind of shape that you have or that you create you can change that and it didn't change the fill and I don't I try not to correct my errors off screen. I tried to show you the errors, so let me show you why I didn't change it. I need to select it. Remember, if you don't have something selected, what you do does not affect it. So we'll go back to shape. We'll change this to a zigzag, and we'll go back and choose the fill stitch. So now you, you see that this shape has been created. We'll choose a different color on the outline just so you can see it. And now if you want to change any of the attributes, you can go into your sewing attributes and you can change the length, the width, density, and whether or not you have under sewing. And our under sewing is also called underlay in some software programs. You can change the stitch direction and the pull compensation, and you can even create feathered edges. We won't go into all that in this video. But now that this shape is a closed shape, what if you wanted to change it a little bit? Well, you can do that by choosing Select, and you can select a point or a node. Now, once you do that, you can either add a node by clicking. So I just clicked on the line. Now, if I want to move that node out, I can just drag it by holding down my left mouse button. And if I want to delete a node, all I do is select that node, right click, and choose delete. And it's that easy to change that shape. I can also change the stitch angle by dragging this icon. You notice the stitch angle has changed. So in order to, again, if I wanted to add a curve to this, I can click on it and add a node. 
and now right click and choose to curve and now I can drag a bezier point to adjust that curve. So that shows you by just taking one tool which was in shapes and we were looking at the closed straight line tool some of the things that you can do by drawing a few points then we went in and edited the nodes and then we right click and deleted some points and we made some curves let's look at the next tool the next tool is closed curve this tool works very much the same way as the last one we'll click click and each time we click it's forming a curve click click double click and it closes that curve now if I want to change this because it's so sharp on the end all I have to do is to select it so first I need to select this and now I can choose select and node and I can adjust the node so if I wanted this node to move or change the curve of it because it is a curved node I can drag the handle you can see this handle here is adjusting that node and if I wanted to delete a point I'll select a point right click and I can choose to straight to make it go to a straight line let's just do that so you can see what it looks like if I want to add a point I click on the line and if I right click on this I can choose to cusp which changes it to a, a different type of curve and now I can just draw or drag this out and again I can use the handle to adjust that curve the other thing that I can do with with the curve point is I can select that point I can right click and I can choose to symmetry when you choose to symmetry it makes it more symmetrical along the curve line okay so that was showing you how to create two shapes both of those shapes are in the outline tools that was a closed straight line and a closed curve. Let's clear the screen. We'll go back into shape. The next one is a pencil closed curve. This you have to hold your mouse button down and you draw on the screen and when you let go it will close that curve for you this operates just like the others in other words if I select this by choosing selection you see the selection handles I can go to select node and I can make changes similar to the others but you notice I have a lot more nodes to select from so when you draw with a pencil you're getting a lot more detail in your nodes than you are when you select those other shapes to digitize if I right click I can change a point or I can delete a point given that I have so many points on this line it's not going to really change it that much so let's choose file new let's go back into shapes and the next three are straight line so if you own a luminaire or dream machine you'll see in design center the sh shapes you'll see these shapes like closed shapes and you'll also see open shapes you'll also see what are called region tools that's what this is is it means that it is filled or you'll see line so this is the tool for the open straight line and it's point to point so let's select it so click 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 
click, click. And when I double click, it ends. And you see I still have this tool active. If I click anywhere else, it's still digitizing. If I double click, it's still digitizing. If I click selection, it stops. So let's do that one more time. Let's go back to shape. And we'll click, 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 double click. And you see the tool still attach. I'll choose select. And once I choose select, it turns off that tool. Okay, let's let's look at this and while well, it's selected and choose nodes and see what we can do. So you see the nodes up here every place I click. That's why when you see digitizing, a good digitizer isn't going to put a thousand nodes between two points because they try to use as few nodes as possible because when you want to edit a node, you don't want to have a thousand that you have to manage. Now, if I select this node and right click, I can change it to a curve if I want. And now I have the Spezier handle that I can adjust and change that curve. Okay, so we'll do File New. And choose no. We don't want to save it and we'll go back to shapes and we'll look at the next open curve. So click, 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 and I'll double click. And you see it's still attached to my um, to my mouse. So I need to choose select to turn it off. And now if I go in and select it, the nodes on this and choose and I can add a point if I want to by clicking on the line and I can adjust that but I can also right click and change this so that it's symmetrical and you when it's symmetrical it makes it more the shape of a circle in fact let's do that here so you can see it again to symmetry and you can see that it's more of a circular shape when you select it and choose cusp you will be able to drag this handle out and change that curve okay so let's clear the screen and the next we'll look at is one that we've already looked at and that's pencil open curve i showed this in the handwriting example We'll leave it on a zigzag stitch and let's just write dog D. Uh, it's not very good. You hold down your mouse button when you're doing this. So now you can see how you could write dog, for instance, using your pencil and digitizing. If you don't like this, you can select it and if I wanted to adjust on some of the nodes I can go in and choose the node tool and you see all of these nodes it would almost be worth writing over again so that gives you an idea of what it's like to use the tools under shape I'll choose home again and choose shape so we've looked at this first row of tools that are considered as outline tools. Come back for part three to see the rectangular circle arc tools. Thank you.